Chico State study shows homeless people were disproportionately affected by the 2013 sit-lie ordinance, which expired in 2016. The timing is re relevant considering last week's tense Chico City Council meeting surrounding a new sit-lie ordinance. Action News Now reporter Laura Ang has more details on the study. Laura. Lauren, the hotly contested sit lie ordinance restricted individuals to sit or lie in public sidewalks, curbs, or streets adjacent to commercial properties. I spoke with Mayor Sean Morgan to get his thoughts on the study. Tension at the September 4th City Council meeting showed what a hot button topic sit lie ordinance is. I would argue that homeless people are disproportionately affected by this type of law. Jennifer Wilking is a Chico State political science professor and one of the authors of a recent study on the sit lie ordinance. They don't have an alternative place to sit, lie, or store their property, so it's likely that it's having a higher impact on our homeless population. Mayor Sean Morgan said the homeless issue and the sit lie ordinance are mutually exclusive. One doesn't have anything to do with, with, with the other. If somebody's sitting down in the middle of the sidewalk, engaged in uncivil behavior, do I know that, oh, that's a homeless guy? No, I have no idea. The study is based off of data from the Chico Police Department from January 2010 to June 2016. Even though the law doesn't specify that it's targeted toward a homeless person, that would be discriminatorily written, because they're disproportionately affecting the homeless population, I connect those dots. I asked the mayor what he thought of this. It's the narrative that's getting hijacked, and the narrative is getting hijacked on purpose. People are saying this is a crime against homelessness, which it's never intended to be. Chico Police Chief Mike O'Brien presented a proposal earlier this month to reinstate the ordinance at a Chico City Council meeting. Even though you couldn't be arrested for this offense, initially we thought maybe we would see more arrests of homeless individuals um, and we find that that's the case. On September 4th the City Council voted to have the City Attorney redraft the ordinance. The Attorney will also examine the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals' decision that it was unconstitutional to ban people from sleeping outside if there's no shelter nearby. Laura Ang, Action News Now.